Hypocrisy is the name of the game as a lot of Canadians are outraged to learn that Justin Trudeau has been flying around on the campaign trail in not just one, but two airplanes. Two airplanes! While everybody else, Andrew Scheer, Jagmeet Singh, I guess the occasions when Elizabeth May and Maxime Bernier are in flight, they're just using one. What on earth can the second airplane be for? One for Justin Trudeau and, and the other for his ego? I mean, what's happening here? Well, the truth, they've clarified, is one is for Trudeau and his immediate team and the media traveling with him, and then the other plane is for their equipment and the advance team, the members of, of the campaign that want to get to a place before the Prime Minister so they can set up and get everything ready and so forth. But here's the thing. It's not like Trudeau has any larger team right now or needs to than, say, Andrew Scheer. Andrew Scheer actually has the same number of RCMP security detail based on where we're at in the campaign, based on the fact that Andrew Scheer could become the prime minister in a couple weeks anyway. So sort of same security presence happens throughout all of this. And the other part of it is Justin Trudeau, apparently at some points in the last campaign, he used a second plane then as well. And that's when he was leader of the third party. What is going on here? Where? are their priorities. Because it's the Prime Minister who will chastise everybody else for all of their emissions and talk from up on a pedestal about how we all have to do more, how dire it is, how much of an emergency we are in, and how, yes, the little guy is going to be stuck with it even more. Because that's what the carbon tax is, and there's very good reason to believe that if re-elected Justin Trudeau and Catherine McKenna are going to jack that carbon tax up even more. So a lot of people frustrated on this, and they should be. I don't care for what a lot of those alarmists say, Greta Thunberg, Naomi Klein, Green Party leader Elizabeth May, I think oversells a lot of this, but I will credit them with being honest about what needs to be done if we're gonna get to pretty much zero emissions in the next couple decades, which Justin Trudeau made a, a gesture announcement saying that he's going to do. To get to that, you're pretty much gonna have to live, as those activists I mentioned, uh, said in World War II style conditions like they did in London, England back many decades ago, food rationing, uh, not traveling anywhere, pretty much doing very limited human activity and just sourcing all of your products and your food locally. I mean, you're going to have to incredibly constrict all of human and economic activity. I think that's bonkers and I don't think we need to head in that direction, but if you want to get to the zero emissions, well, that's a route to do it. And some people, Miss Thunberg for instance, well, she took that boat across the country to make her way to New York. Justin Trudeau, he's taking two planes when he does a trip from Ottawa to Toronto, where you could take Via Rail or what have you for a few hours, but he's taking those two planes instead. Now, the frustrating thing about all of this is there are other things we can talk about here that don't have to involve all these carbon taxes and tisk tisking regular Canadians, pretty much harming low-income Canadians with these taxes, and it doesn't have to result in a situation where Trudeau looks like a hypocrite. One of them is one of his own campaign promises. He actually talks about planting a whole bunch more trees because of carbon capture, because of how that helps with emissions. Well, that's actually a good idea, and it's a far more reasonable thing than the carbon tax or these meaningless gestures about zero emissions. I think most Canadians, regardless of politics, would go, well, it's nice to have more trees around our country. We have a beautiful country. Let's, let's take responsibility for the landscape. There's so much more that could be discussed about how the green movement wants to build a better mousetrap. And at a certain point in time, we may soon find that electric vehicles are at the same price point as vehicles that take gasoline and the consumer just naturally gravitates in that direction to that other product. Maybe that product will actually be cheaper and then people will head that way. The free market is actually moving us to a less emissions intensive world. So there you go. There will be some green revolution heralded and maybe all this stuff that Trudeau is forcing down our throats will all be for naught. So why the need to do all of this? Why the need to be exposed as a hypocrite? We really need to have the conversation on those fronts because all this drama that we're going through right now, it's not worth it.